<laughs> you still feel me? Right, now we've got two little squares. I'm not even going to redo this, so that's easy problem. Hello and welcome back to the Home Improvements channel. I'm Brad and I'm the creator. I'm Phil and I'm the maker. And I'm Jack and I'm tired. <laughs> He is <laughs> and today we're going to show you guys at home how to make your own coffee table for as little as 40 pounds UK sterlings <laughs> and we're going to keep it super basic super, super simple lovely. so you guys at home can make it as well GPD isn't it? <laughs> I can't move about the top of a wall why are you talking to a wall? Because we're going to do magic and there's going to be up there. Well, I'm going to make this magical list on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> <He Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I've written down a quick little cut list to keep it really, really basic for you. And here you're we going to need. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to need uh, four 45 by 45 by 2.4 meters uh, pine, basic cheap wood. And you're going to need four times 150 by 1200 by 45 mil thick uh, pine again. So these are the tops. And that will leave you with a top of 600 mil by 1200 or 0.6 metres by 1.2 metres. Uh, and then we'll make a little frame up and we'll show you that after. You're going to need some 70 mil screws and some wood stains, whatever you choose. We're going for an oak effect stain and a grey stain for the legs and we'll put the list up here here's our wood <laughs> pine lovely right 45 by 45 mil by 2.4 meter long yes one is on the saw we're gonna need four i've got three in my hand um we've got four of these i don't know this hey. <laughs> <laughs> i actually don't know the measurements of these i will get the measurements for you i'm sure we'll put them up on the screen but uh, you're going to need four of these as well. What are they for, Jack? They're for the top. Beautiful. So let's quickly spin off let's quickly spin off all our cuts and then we'll start talking to you again. So first of all, I'm going to cut all the four ten legs. And if you haven't got a saw like this, you can use any saw, hand saw. We'll do one with a hand saw. Just because just we can. For anyone who obviously ain't got power tools like this, you can use a plug, wood saw, hand saw. Um, what you want to do, you want to mark round <coughs> so it's easier to follow with your saw, because obviously if you're not very good on the saw, you can veer off and you can have wonky cuts. So either use a square, if you haven't got a square, all saws have got a 90 degree and a 45, it even says on this one. So just bang that across there, make your line, We've already done it. Turn it. Make a second line. That's enough. So you can, when you're sawing, you can keep your saw on the right plane going down and across. So we'll quickly cut this. Don't want to teach you how to suck eggs. A lot of people know how to use saws, but you want to use your thumb. And that is used to guide the saw and stop it hitch, jumping out and giving you a good sign. Oh, <laughs> so we're going to start a couple backs. Lightly. This is a rusty saw, by the way, guys. It's not been stored very good. Yeah, I rarely use hand saws anymore. That's not a problem. I love it. That's my favourite. And then that's it. And you are going to need to come over to the bench. Garden table. Right, from our cut list, obviously we only cut that one for you guys. Nine. We've got nine of these. We've got four legs that are going to be coming up. We've got four sides, top and bottom. And then we've got one extra, which is going to be an extra brace for the top so we can fix the top down properly. Next on the cut list, we need four 1100 bits, so let's get on them. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you want to block that me? Right, and what we're going to do is literally <laughs> screw these four together. And as long as you've done nice square cuts, it should go together fairly square. You can check this by measuring the diagonals. You want to pilot this? Because we're trying to keep it simple, we're not putting any diagonal bracing in. But we might do on our one. But we're trying to keep it simple, simple cheese, cheese. When you put the two screws in, put them at diagonals. You never want to put them one above the other because you've got more chance of splitting the grain. So we're going to put them slight angles. We've got 70 mil screws. And we're going to send them in. But before we do, we're going to use this this old crappy drill I found. So we're going to pilot it. <laughs> Back to the and warrior. We're going to send our screws in. We're going to do it on all four corners. And then we'll move on to the next stage. That is first of two of these we're going to build. So what you want to do, you want to repeat this, get another one built, but on the second one, we're going to put a brace through the center. This is going to be our base, all right? So let's move on to the next one. Right, now we've got our two little squares. I'm not even going to redo this, so that's easy problem. We're going to put our feet in between there. So what I think is going to be easiest for everyone is just to take one, sit it on your flat area. It's not really that flat. And then just stick one leg on at a time. Right, we're piling here. These are our existing screws. I've just marked them out, so we're going to try and avoid them. That's me walking I've here. just eyeballed them in from the other side. Jack's having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Stay oh, here we go. Can you stand out, please? I'm laughing. <laughs> right. Right, here Come down and touch. Right, Stop. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. As you can see, we're building this to within. A, a microscopic millimetre and Jack's definitely not rocking it around as I'm screwing it. <laughs> St stupid. So out in the jungle it takes two wild animals. Wild animals. <laughs> what are we doing Phil? Just marking the screws area. So we don't hit them. So we don't hit them. Right obviously once you've got your bottoms on it's much easier process. We're just going to sit the top on, make sure each leg's square, left, right, back, centre, front, and left, right. And then same again, get your pile up, bibbidi bibbidi, go for a fly. Right, the simplest, simplest way I can think to put these tops on square for you is measure the width now, the total of your material. We've got 580 mil, because that was a little bit shorter than the 150 they were meant to be. It happens when they're planed and stuff. Measure the total, we've got 580. We know for a fact our frame is 500 by 1100. So we're going to split the difference in two. That's going to give us a 40 mil lip there and a 50 mil lip here. So we're just going to take one of these, flip it over. We're going to mark 50 mil on the end. 50 mil on the end. And then we're going to mark 40 mil in a few spots. And this is the overhang, by the way, guys. This is the overhang. We've put an overhang on this coffee table. Right, and then when you flip this very first board over, forget about them. Hills, Where toes, them? toes, ladies, toes. <laughs> right, so we're gonna go underneath, and we're you see underneath, them. And then we're just gonna line. The marks up. Uh, Mark Can you see up. his mark up there? I'm gonna try and get him closer. There are other ways to do this, but we're just trying to make it as simple as please. And then line them lines up underneath, and then that will give you the even space underneath here. Phil's going to line it that up. Should give you a I'm just line. getting in his way at the minute. Right, so that's it. That first one is set with the exact overhang and everything. So once we get that one in, so we'll fix this one in, and then we'll just square off with everything, and that will give us a perfect. Because everything's nice and square. <laughs> right, what we're going to do? We're going to put three fixings in each board. Zoom. Pilot hole as usual. You haven't really got to go crazy with these where you want them. You can if you want. Right, now what we're going to do, we're going to set our balls in. And because these are just some off-the-shelf pine, you can see they've got little bows in them and stuff. We're just going to take a little piece of card, credit card, anything you like. And we're going to use that as a little space just to give them a little bit of gap between each other. It just hides that. And it makes it look like original. 
And then same again, we're gonna pilot it, drill it, do the thing. is your basic, 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 easy to build coffee table. Do it yourself. From here, yeah, do it yourself, yeah. From here, you can sand the edges, you can shape the edges, you can stain it. We're gonna carry on, so stay tuned. We are gonna do some bits, but for someone that hasn't got a lot of tools, a lot of hand, only got hand tools, so this nice. is where you might wanna stop, give it some sanding, stain it up, and then you've got a nice little coffee table for your land or, Wherever. And it's solid as well. This ain't no yeah. You ain't like, I mean, you can, I ain't gonna. I mean, I don't know how much coffee you put on here. <laughs> Get down, you're gonna hurt yourself. But yeah, now yeah. what we're gonna do is add some bits because obviously someone's getting it and we want it to look a bit fancy. So. so we'll film it and we'll show you. And if you want to copy these bits as well, if you've got extra tools in it. Cheers. Cheers. extra bits because we obviously want to make it look a bit better for the people at home obviously the table we done originally was a great coffee table this one's good urban slate so put, like put it up to the wow Shit. what are we doing it's in the oak capino we only use the quality gear here we're not sponsored by the way by any of these crap brands that we use <laughs> we're gonna start selling solid oak furniture <laughs> Over there. This yeah, one yeah. retails for three double nine five. <laughs> <laughs> you can see us stand to Romford Market, Sunday Market, <laughs> Wednesday to Tuesday. <laughs> well, Sunday Welcome to Teletubbies! It's time for Mummy Babies! Oh! What? Look at it! It's, oh. it's delicious! Wizardry! And it's one of yours! <laughs> if you like, subscribe and comment. And leave a comment. Only in the UK, I'm not sending this wafter of a table. We do apologise. Yeah, wafter we do of a apologize. coffee table over to China. I won't no, do UK, it. UK anyway, it's so far. Yeah, so if you're in the UK, if you're abroad, if you're not in the UK, you can still like and subscribe. Thank you. You yes. won't win anything. I'm but don't so worry, you might be able to, if something's a bit smaller, we build something a bit smaller, we don't mind doing it worldwide. Yeah. But this one is but a yeah. on every side. All you got to do, like, subscribe, chuck us comment. a comment. And this bad boy, bad boy, <laughs> is going to sit in your lounge or in the bin. I hope you've enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, cheers. Peace.